simply learn your pace your place module 1a part 1 valuation modeling introduction hello and welcome to the lesson on valuation modeling of the financial course by simply learn this lesson is about valuation modeling Valuation modeling is the study of the basic elements used for financial modeling and financial analysis. It is an introductory path to business valuation models and advanced models based on sophisticated projections in probabilistic environments. The presentation we will go over today should give you a broad overview of the important aspects of valuation modeling with some concrete practical examples. Now, let's move on to our agenda. agenda we will start by an introduction to integrated financial models by wondering what it is that gives value to a company we will introduce the main techniques used to value a business and discuss the difference between the value coming from revenue as opposed to potential we will then get to understand scenario analysis we will discuss why multiple scenarios have to be considered in the context of financial analysis and why looking at extremely adverse scenario is very important this will lead us to define the concept of worst case scenario moving on from the topic of scenarios analysis we will focus our attention to cash flows and explain how financial analysis takes an additional dimension when uncertain cash flows are introduced we will discuss the structure of cash flow uncertainty and introduce the concept of probability distributions We will illustrate the topic through the cash flow projection and valuation of a coupon bond. Finally, we will define the concept of interest rate, provide the various types and definitions of interest rate, explain what a yield curve is, and discuss how yield curves are used in the task of discounting cash flows. Now, let's move on to our exciting presentation. Understanding integrated financial models. We will start our presentation with a discussion on basic valuation techniques. There are three types of primary sources that we can use when trying to give a value to a business. The first source is the past financial performance. This means for example, the revenues from sales in the recent years, the level of profit when related to sales, the capacity to serve debt interest, and so on. The second source of information is the current structure of the company's balance sheet. This informs us of the key financial ratios that can provide a quick diagnosis on the company's financial health. Finally, the current structure of the cash flows enables us to relate the value of the business to how it is expected to continue during its business. 